Being, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Andrew Hill. All new at 10, State Representative Steve Lebsock breaks his silence and says he is sorry to fellow Representative Faith Winter. Now, he stopped short of saying he did anything wrong. This is what he wrote. I am sincerely sorry for offending my colleague. And then he goes on to say, I do not remember ever saying anything inappropriate. Well, Liz Gillardi joins us. You spoke to Winter hours after she went public with her story of sexual harassment. She's offended. She is offended. Representative Winter told me that Lebsack had the audacity to call this dirty politics and says that comment is unfortunate. We learned she is meeting with leadership and legal services first thing Monday morning. She also responded to his claims he did nothing criminal, saying sexual harassment is criminal. Winter adds he may not remember what he did, but that doesn't mean it's appropriate. He talked about what he wanted to do um, sexually. He used explicit language. He told me he would do things to me that my husband never had. I repeatedly told him no. I told him to leave. I told him to go back home. Uh, the more I refused, the more uh, aggressive and angry he became. And tonight, there are more calls for Labsock to leave office. The House Speaker says if it's true, he should resign. Thank you, Liz. And tonight, two additional women are coming forward publicly. A former lobbyist told our partners at the Denver Post Lebsock made several advances toward her over the course of years, even asking her to have sex. And a former legislative aide tells the Post she was warned about Lebsack when she started working at the state capitol three years ago, saying he had a reputation. She says he reached over and undid a button on her shirt at a political event and then said, that's better. In Lebsock's statement released tonight, he asked that the accuser submit any official complaint through the, quote, normal professional process, not just through the media. And he promised to be honest during this process. And right now on the DenverChannel.com, you can read Lepsock's full statement and many of the statements from his colleagues urging him to resign.